Welcome, welcome, welcome to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm your host, Lipstick Patty, and today we're looking at Dinosaur 1944. Let's go to the highlight reel. Dinosaur 1944. Ooh, this is the latest game from Peterson Games, a AAA publisher, Kickstarter specialists. Ooh, look at that box. It's so green. Is the T-Rex green? Well, apparently, all of the dinosaurs have been heavily researched in this game to be as close as possible that current day science thinks is. Oh, look at all that on the pledge that you're getting. Wow, this game is way out. Look at this, May 2022. This is two years off, peeps. Are you willing to wait two years? Oh, goodness gracious me. <gasps> Listen up, soldiers, because I'm only going to say it once. Now, here you can see that there is no standard millimeter, but the scale has all been scaled to a 28 millimeter. That's how they work the scale out for the dinosaurs. The scale is as accurate as possible. That science is telling us so. Lovely jubbly. Tiles are eight inches by eight. Eight by eight. Eight by eight. What's that in centimeters? Board art looks nice. I'd like to see a little bit of UV spotting on my water effects here or anything shiny. Yeah. Everything is done to realism here as much as it can in this alt history fantasy. So it is. Dinosaurs are scaled per paleontological reference. It's a big word for the time of night it is here. Mm -hmm. Minis are looking really cool. Um, we get more detail in the updates. And um, just look at this specialist Peabody here with all of this on the base. With this, the sandbags here looking phenomenal. Uh, 15 jungle tiles. Is it going to be enough? If they design the game to 50, maybe. Are they double sided? We don't know. And 130 gear cards. <gasps> Sign me up for this. The dinosaur minis, look at these, and they're looking great. Dynamic. I love them. Also, they are totally non generic. Look at the raptor here. A raptor with feathers? I like that the T-Rex has got scars on his legs here. And here you can see a scar. So this guy's been through the wars. The drill instructor Webb standing on some battlements here. He's looking great. Here's the currency and you can get 50 of these. 50? <laughs> Sandy Pearson here telling you about the game. And um, this is great to see from a designer. I love this. We're two years out, it's barely on the page. As you can see, we're just getting it all out. We've got a very rough sheet here. And as we go through here, you can see a map tile's been put together here. Now it says the map book has 23 maps, which is more than the campaign. So there's, there's probably some scenarios also. We've got um, a nice big piece of an art style here, the jungle tile. This is nice that they've done this, so it's going to be you and some NPCs. Um, well, not NPCs, but you know, non-hero characters that you can control, which is good. Really good. Like it, like it, like it. Dinosaur poo is actually a pretty common fossil. Superman appeared in 1939. So why didn't he join the military? And is he going to be in the game? Is Superman going to be in the game? Love this mustache. I do like that. It's an extra character, and they just—I just love the whole youth base. It's like a miniature art in itself, isn't it? Um, and it has so much potential. This, and it's looking really fun, actually. Those big chunky tiles, great minis, the um, the other soldiers you've got on those map tiles with you. Oh yeah, Dinosaur 44, we are so close to recommend it, recommending this game. But hopefully in the eight days, the updates will knock us off the wall or the fence that we're on and it'll be worth backing. <laughs> oh, this game looks so cool. 
Man, I wish I could play this game when I was a kid. And you know what? If you're a parent, maybe your kid's gonna love this too. Soldiers versus dinosaurs looking really cool. Oh man. Let's go to the Kickstarter page right after this important message from the studio. Kickstarter Radio 102.4 does not stand still. It is constantly evolving. Our Saturday show has just been upgraded to the newest, skinniest version, where we only look at the games we covered in the week in a new, skinnier format. Also, our live show on Sunday has been trimmed off the fat too, and we look at games that we could not cover in the week that are full of promise too. And also, we will be covering all the interesting and cool games that are worth your attention, so it is worth subscribing to this channel just to see all that we offer. So why not subscribe and make this channel even better as we have a ton of social stretch goals. So this channel gets bigger, better, and better for you, the viewer that loves Kickstarters. So if you're bored of retail, this is the YouTube channel made for you. Dinosaur 1944. Ooh, this is the latest game from Peterson Games, a AAA publisher, Kickstarter specialists. Ooh, look at that box. It's so green. Is the T-Rex green? Well, apparently, all of the dinosaurs have been heavily researched in this game to be as close as possible that current day science thinks is. Which, okay, if that's what they think it is, then <laughs> Jurassic Park, the movie, incorrect. Fancy that. Well, you're going to be limited here by technology of 1944, and it's your army men versus dinosaurs. How's that going to match up? <laughs> well, I guess a sniper bullet to the eye is uh, going to hurt. Yeah, cooperative game, defense, combat. Um, and looking good. Short campaign, unfortunately, but yes, blasted for its goal. Over a thousand backers, and um, all good to see. We kind of didn't want to bring this out too early. We were waiting for some updates for the game because we needed more, and we're still waiting for a playthrough. So hopefully that will come. Get a reminder on it because this game is looking hot. Why are we bringing it to your attention? Oh, look at all that on the pledge that you're getting. Wow! Look at these big map cards as well. These minis are enlarged for viewing. Um, it makes the tiles look small here when the tiles are actually large. They are indeed. We'll see some cool things here. The big player boards that you get. Lovely. And um, we've got this nice camp. Um, log book here where potentially all details are going to be in here shops and stuff like because you when you kill a dinosaur you're getting a skull off it which you can sell then to get some gear between missions and stuff all good it's custom dice you can see here on the board and all that good stuff and at the back these green cards up here are for the dinosaurs Ooh. solo play yes up to four people yeah cooperative Yes, indeed. It'd be interesting to see if there was a one versus one, dinosaurs versus, but um, no mention of that yet. This game is way out. Look at this. May 2022. This is two years off. Peeps, are you willing to wait two years? Oh, goodness gracious me. <gasps> well, maybe you are. If you, if you want a realistic dinosaur game with alt history. <laughs> $79 as well. Ooh, we'll talk about the price as we go down, but here, the Drill Instructor Web. Listen up, soldiers, because I'm only gonna say it once. This is Corora Jimmy, and you're driving to stop those dinosaurs if they get off this island. I don't know how they're gonna get off it, but anyway, that's what our mission is. If they get off this island, it's big trouble, and you're all we've got, because something happened to the the nuclear bombs we've got in 1944. Anyway, we, all you got so get in gear and head out of here. If you don't like it, write your congressman. Why, why just nuke the island? Hmm? But I guess they do want the heads of the dinosaurs. They want the research. So, you know, they're not going to nuke it, are they? Anyway. <laughs> Strategic co-op. 
Now here's the scale, and they're all as accurate as possible, and um, it's, you know, what, what, what scale are the minis? They're all over the place. The scale is all over the place. Now here you can see that there is no standard millimeter, but the scale has all been scaled to a 28 millimeter. That's how they've worked the scale out for the dinosaurs. But you can see the scales are all to the second decimal point of a millimeter. <laughs> so this is where the scientific edge comes in here for the sizes, which is pretty cool, isn't it? The scale is as accurate as possible. That science is telling us so. Lovely jubbly. Tiles are eight inches by eight. Eight by eight. What's that in centimeters? Eight inches is two. It's about 20 by 20 centimeters. Come on, Peter. So give us some centimeters. You, you're doing your scale in millimeters and your boards by inches. <gasps> you come on. But that looks nice. I'd like to see a little bit of UB spotting on my water effects here or anything shiny. Minis are looking great though. I love the bases are all well designed as well. They're not just empty bases. You can see kind of they're in the jungle here. Yeah, everything is done to realism here as much as it can in this alt history fantasy. So it is Dinosaurs are scaled per paleontological reference. Oof. It's a big word for the time of night it is here. Mm -hmm. As the game progresses, though, you're going to face numerous foes and dinosaurs' bosses enter the field. Ooh, eventually, you'll face the final boss, and defeat defeating her wins the game. So, yeah, boss dinosaurs sounds great. Rule book as the rule book is so alpha. It, I mean, two years off. It's basically we've nailed down the design. That's it. Playthrough is coming. We can't wait to see what it's like as it plays out a to plays out one of these tile scenarios. But I really want to see it played out. It's the one thing missing is a playthrough on the video. And when we get to the rule book at the bottom, we'll do a 30 second view. It's going to be 30 seconds. I guarantee it. And after that, we'll jump into the updates because there's some cool stuff in there. Minis are looking really cool. Um, we get more detail in the updates. And um, just look at this specialist Peabody here with all of this on the base with this, the sandbags here looking phenomenal. Um, the fact that they've designed these look really cool. I don't know why Captain Loranzak here has put his knife in a box. That's not going to help you if someone sneaks up here. We've got to pull that out of the box. 20 custom die. A lot of them, innit? 20 dice for this. Uh, 15 jungle tiles. Is it going to be enough? If they design the game to 15, maybe. Are they double sided? We don't know. Barricade tiles, so you can dress up what the board looks like. So good. Each scenario might look different with barricades up. And 130 gear cards. <gasps> Sign me up for this. A ton of stuff here. Remember, there's a shop that you can sell skulls of the dinosaurs and upgrade your kit. Lovely. These player boards looking great. Also, it says six here, but this unlocks already asynchronous to them so all good 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 mass amount of tokens the dinosaur minis look at these and they're looking great dynamic i love them also they are totally non-generic look at the raptor here a raptor with feathers what's going on paradactyl looking great i don't I've even heard of this guy kentrosaurus Styracosaurus. He's a Triceratops. No, because he's got lots of them. Oh, this is so educational. Look at the Pleliosaurus coming out of the water. <gasps> and here's the green T-Rex. Who knew? I like that the T-Rex has got scars on his legs here. And here you can see a scar. So this guy's been through the wars. I love it. Um, 
I don't know if these are feathers. They kind of look like feathers, but they could be scales. The north of so this douche here, he looks like a bird, but he's got like a scales here. I don't know. Oh, super cool, super cool. Super cool bases on all of them. The raptor, look, is he sitting on an egg? A raptor egg, maybe? I don't know. Looking wicked anyway. They're looking wicked. Some unlocks here. The drill instructor web standing on some battlements here. He's looking great. Nurse Ivy, we like the burly look of her. Looking good. And Corporal Pitt with his gun sniper rifle on a tree branch looking great. Here's the currency and you can get 50 of these. 50? <laughs> They're supposed to be highly detailed and this game is going for scientific accuracy as much as it can. So they're cool. And 50 of them for $13. This is something you'd pick up certainly at a convention to pimp it out. So this is good to see. The how to play here is not helpful one bit. Um, but we can kind of see some tiles laid out here. Again, UV spotting would look great on this kind of river here. We've got your, um, you've set up some barbed wire. Uh, you've got a nice pit that you've dug here. And you've got a mortar team set up. So, oh, man, it looks cool, doesn't it? Dinosaurs coming through here. And you've got this set up. Oh, yes. It, it sounds very, very good. Um... You know, you potentially just got to survive this scenario as they're going through and um, all that good stuff. So, yeah, it, it's pretty unclear what is going on here. It is, and uh, the playthrough's coming. Now, Sandy Pearson here telling you about the game, and um, this is great to see from a designer. I love this. And I, I wish other designers did it. It's really cool to hear from the designer over this, the game that they're bringing out. So props to Sandy here for, for doing this. I just wish it came to the Kickstarter with a playthrough on day one. But we've not got it yet. Shipping costs are very good. Remember, the European Union um, is sticking VAT on this, which is out. So your total shipping is $43 more expensive than shipping it to the rest of the world. That's outrageous. Get on to your EU um, representative. I don't know why the UK is also doing this, but you need to get onto the UK also. I mean, the board game's getting made in Germany. Uh, call me crazy. But anyway... It's good that Canada and Mexico have got the same shipping price because the UMCA deal comes in July 1st and that's how it should be with all companies. We should be in the same band here. Anyhow, so there is some politics going on with shipping costs with board games at the minute and it's nothing to do with Sanderson games. Now you can $1 pledge to come in here and hope this change it changes in the future Maybe by 2022, they fixed this outrageous problem um, coming in. So for people that are put off by this in Europe, just go in the $1 pledge that they're saying you can do in the FAQ. And um, you can maybe come, come in that way. Hopefully it'll get fixed. Look at all these games the devs have done. They've got some in production, but hey, this is a AAA publisher. And um, we can see in 2019 alone, they did Hyperspace, Harbinger Cthulhu, Eternal Adversary, um, Cthulhu Wars, Final Onslaught, 8 Bit Attack, Ghoul Island. That's one, two, three, four, five, six games in 2019. And come on, they're not fulfilled yet. They're, not, they're expected to winter time. Um, and they've already had the gods of war in 2020 so and has to rising so it's normal for this company to bring out more than one kickstarter a year and they've fulfilled come on look at all this so i won't worry too much let's just test if i've played these games doom yes doom 2 yes quake yes age of empires yes 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 age of empires 4 coming out soon come on microsoft show us what it looks like hyperspeed i know <laughs> I don't know that one. Sorry, that's I'm not that old. Halo Wars, it didn't come to PC. Well, the legendary 
Master Chief Collection is coming to PC, but the piecemealing it out, it's not got the full collection on PC yet, so I'm going to wait for that to come on discount before I jump on it. And um, basically, Cthulhu Wars is his monster Kickstarter that um, is kind of famous for in the board gaming world. Some people in the comments describing this game, the 1944 dinosaur, as orcs must die, reskinned. But come on. You're limited here by 1944 technology, and in Orcs Must Die, you're firing magic here. Come on, it's completely theme different and mechanically different because of that. And uh, you've got dinosaurs here, completely different than Orcs. How are you saying this? Who's similar? It's just such a non-savvy comment. All right. And before we go to the rule, I just want to mention something which I missed coming down. That is the pledge <clears throat> MSRP of 89 if it's if it's gonna go to retail for $90 now on miniature market and cool stuff Inc they are often selling games less than this <coughs> so is the Kickstarter price really justified are the stretch goals alone going to be Kickstarter exclusive? Is it? Is that what's going to push it? We don't know. And it, it's something that is needed here. But I guess you're going to be getting it early. But just be aware of that. It could. You might get this cheaper at retail. Hmm. That's a theory, anyway. Let's look at this logbook. Thirty seconds will roll after this quick message from the station. You obviously love board games, but do you like video games too? Well, if you do, our host Lipstick Patty took a look at E3 this year, 2020, and picked out some amazing fresh titles that aren't being covered by the mainstream. The link is above, you can check it out, it's on the channel, and if you love video games too, you will love this coverage that he did. We're two years out, it's barely on the page, as you can see, we're just getting it all out. We've got a very rough sheet here, it's like a prototype phase. So this needs a lot of work, it does need a lot of work, but two years out, this is what it looks like. Please get your playthrough so we can see it, of course this will change, but it's all in here for you to do burn your brain out 26 pages of a word document ah, are we up to 30 seconds yet we'll get, <laughs> we'll get to the end anyway it is interesting first thing look you can see here campaign has 11 map tiles there you go so that's the length of your campaign oh let's go to the updates now we're funded it says indeed now they've got these fun facts about the alternate world history, World War II history here, which is nice to read as you come through. And uh, here's the web that he got unlocked, which is nice. And as we go through here, you can see a map tile has been put together here. Again, you could have you, you be spotting on the oil here, if this is oil or the water, this would look really nice. Some of the leaves might be shiny too. Um, something to think about going forward anyway. So it does look really nice coming in here on the beach and then going through it all. So yeah, really nice. So it kind of explains it out here, which it is good. Now it says the map book has 23 maps which is more than the campaign so there's, there's probably some scenarios also so potentially 23 modes of play to go with and they're all gonna look different with different bits of barricades on so yeah gonna be nice indeed here's a sniper guy coming out really good and um Juicy, juicy combat here. Talking about scare dice, speed dice. You got the um, medic dice here. They're great. The custom dice they really are. We've got um, a nice big piece of an art style here. The jungle tile, and 
It says the ambushes will be on transparent cards so you can see the terrain below. So you're putting these cards down. What's all this about? So, <clears throat> so this is if you've got like your your hero units on, but they're getting supported by infantry on with them as well. So this is kind of nice, and this is just a display because this is semi-transparent, but they're going to be 100% transparent. And uh, but this is nice that they've done this. So it's going to be you and some NPCs, um, well, not NPCs, but you know, non-hero characters that you can control, which is good, really good. I like it, like it, like it. Fun fact: dinosaur poo is actually a pretty common fossil. We have identified multiple examples of trison tri put my teeth back in Trias Tyrannosaurus poop. How do we know it's from a Tyrannosaurus? It's from the bone particles. T-Rex just crushed them up, bones and all. And it's too big to be from any other carvinor. Carvinor. Oh dear me, what's going on tonight? My reading. Carnivore! <laughs> Show us a picture, Sandy. It's better to, <laughs> better to show us than tell us. <laughs> Want to see dinosaur poo? Here's the nurse looking nice and burly. We do like her. And she gets her specialist with her dice too. Good. And um, more fun facts here. Superman appeared in 1939. So why... Didn't he join the military? And is he going to be in the game? Is Superman going to be in the game? <laughs> he was rejected, actually, because of his 4F in his medical checkup due to his bad eyesight. <laughs> it says, Superman accidentally used his x-ray vision to read the eye chart in the next room. So the doctor rejected him for getting almost all the letters wrong. Poor Superman, he was forced to stay in the USA and fight crime instead. <gasps> oh, Sandy. Uh, Minnie looking great here. Early though, isn't it? Two years away, but still looking great like the tie. Like that he's coming in really good. The Skur dies. Talking about mechanics here in the update, so it's all good. And there's some detailed, bigger shots here of some of the dinosaurs looking really nice. Love this moustache. I do like this. Extra character. and they're just, I just love the whole base. It's like a miniature art in itself, isn't it? And the fact that these are coming to scale. Oh, yes. And the T-Rex, look at this guy again with the scars. Looking great. So, updates. We like them. Keep them coming. There's going to be more as it goes through eight days. So eight days. So come back. Hopefully, we'll get that playthrough, which can really sell the game to us um, as well. Because we're kind of on the fence at the minute. It's, it is looking great, but we do want to see a playthrough. There's obviously no YouTubers on here because there's no prototype to be sent out yet. So we're going off the strength of the campaign, and it has been promised. So this is coming, peeps. So hopefully, it'll come soon. And uh, then we can get a recommendation out on the pledge. But at the minute, it's a must watch, though, for that. Um, and it has so much potential, this, and it's looking really fun, actually. Those big, chunky tiles, great minis, the, um, the other soldiers you've got on those map tiles with you. Oh, yeah, Dinosaur 44. We are so close to recommend it, recommending this game. But hopefully in the eight days, the updates will knock us off the wall or the fence that we're on. And it'll be worth backing. Yes. So, yeah. Phenomenal game. Miniatures. 1944 soldiers versus realistic as science tells us of dinosaurs that are non-generic. Super cool. Lots of education just looking at these dinosaurs and so much, to, so much more to come. If you're in Europe, I'd put a $1 pledge in and hope your continent fixes your tax problem. But um, other than that, well, on that bombshell, this is Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm your host, Lipstick Paddy. You take care, stay safe, and bye-bye for now.